were made. Without him, nothing was made that was made. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah.
Here I go from beginning to
prophecy of the Lord for us in the coming year is that the year is not going to be different from the year of Nehemiah. And that is why we're going to pray from the scripture. We're going to pray from the book of Nehemiah chapter 1. The Bible says in verse 4, And it came to pass, when I heard these words, that I sat down and wept, and mourned certain days, and fasted, and prayed before the God of heaven. You see, what we are doing is that we are praying in advance. We are interceding in advance for the year 2022. And the Lord has called this thought as intercessor for the sin. And that is why before there is going to be any experience of ruin or devastation in our city, we are going to intercede in advance and say, Father, every plan of the enemies, every plan of evildoers concerning our city in 2022, Father, nullify their plans. In the name of Jesus, every disruptive agenda of the enemy, every disruptive agenda of the enemies, we scatter them. In the name of Jesus, we nullify their powers. In the name of Jesus, every powers of the enemies that want to cause ruin and destruction in the year 2022. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus Christ's name we are praying. In Jesus Christ's name we are praying. The Bible says, surely they will gather. But because their gathering is not of God, they will surely scatter. So it's okay for them to gather. It's okay for them to have a meeting. It's okay for them to have an agenda. But the Bible says the agenda shall be scattered. We are going to stand upon the covenant of God's word. Every agenda of the enemy concerning this city, Lord, scatter them in the name of Jesus. Tell it to God, tell it to God. Every agenda. Every agenda of the enemy concerning our sin to cause ruin and destruction. We scatter you in the name of Jesus. We nullify your plans in the name of Jesus. In Jesus Christ's name we are praying. In Jesus Christ's name we are praying. We're going to pray to God this day. Yes. Father, establish your covenant of peace in our land. In the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, we establish. We establish your covenant of peace in this city. In the name of Jesus. We stand upon the foundation to which this city was instituted. We declare and declare, Lord, we establish your covenant of peace. In the name of Jesus. In this land, in the city, in our nation, all over the world, establish your coming of peace. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus Christ's name, we are free. In Jesus Christ's name, we are free. The Lord is saying that he's going to show his mercy once again. Hallelujah. I just want you to thank him. I want you to appreciate him for his mercy. Yes, the year 2022 is going to show forth his mercy. He's going to show forth his mercy over me, over my family, over this nation, over this city. Yes, mercy. 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 Let your mercy begin to speak. In the name of Jesus, let your mercy begin to speak. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus Christ's name we are praying. In Jesus Christ's name we are praying. 
The Lord is saying that this land will no longer be termed desolate. This land will no longer be termed desolate. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus Christ's name we are free. In Jesus Christ's name we are free. The Lord is saying in the year to come, there will be advancement in this city that will show the world. I just want you to appreciate the King of Kings. I want you to appreciate him. I want you to appreciate him. Advancement, advancement, advancement that will shock the world is bringing forth in this city, is bringing forth in our land, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus Christ's name, we are free. In Jesus Christ's name, we are free. Amen. The Lord is saying, He has set before us an open door that yes. no man can shut. Yes. yes, yes. Whatever doors you want for this city. The Bible says, He that pray for the peace of Jerusalem, and those that love it shall prosper. Yes. When you pray for your city, you are opening doors of prosperity for yourself. Yes. You are opening doors of advancement for yourself. And that is why I just want you to begin to thank God. I want you to begin to thank God for advancement. Advancement in our land. Advancement in our land. Advancement that will show the world. Advancement that will change the course of things. In the name of Jesus. Le bosa ta ya karaba baba. Le bese ti ni ke le bosa ta. Le bosa to yo ko bosa ta ni ke. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. 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 In Jesus Christ's name, we are free. In Jesus Christ's name, we are free. The Lord is saying, no matter how fiery the horror of the enemy would be in year 2022, the Lord is saying that you and your household, you are secure. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And you just appreciate him, appreciate him, appreciate him, appreciate him. I appreciate him for his protection over your household, over your family. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus Christ's name, we are free. You see, that is why I want you to know that when God speaks, when God commands, he has a reason. When God is asking us to pray for our city, there is a reason for it. And the reason is very clear. The reason is very, very clear. Yes. And that is why the word of God says in Nehemiah chapter 1 verse 6, Let thy ear now be attentive, and thy eyes be open. That is an instruction unto the Lord by prophet Nehemiah. That the Lord himself will hear our cry. Yes, yes, yes. The Lord himself will hear our cry. We are not like them. We have a covenant. And the covenant of the Lord that we have is a covenant of peace. Yes. Because you are living in this city, I decree and declare over you. Amen. As you walk in this month and beyond, Amen. you will walk in the peace of the Lord. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Wherever there is chaos, Wherever there is destruction in this month and the month but are beyond, I decree and declare you are protected in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare your household is protected in the name of Jesus. Every corruption that is causing destruction, every covenant that has been entered with the devil, we stand upon the covenant of your word. Yes, Lord. We stand upon the foundation and death of Christ on the cross. Amen. The Bible says, Curse 
keeps on to every man that is angered upon the tree. That the blessings of the Abraham shall flow unto the Gentiles. I decree, because Jesus paid the price, every cost in this land is eradicated. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Nehemiah chapter 1, verse 8 Remember, I beseech thee. The word that thou commandest thy servant Moses. Every commandment that has been established with us as your children. We stand upon those commandments and covenant tonight. Amen. For this city, Amen. we decree and declare Amen. such covenant will begin to manifest. Amen. In the name of Jesus. The word says, but if you turn unto me and keep my commandments and do them, though they were of you cast out unto the uttermost part of the heaven, yet I will gather thee Amen. from this and bring them unto the place that Amen. I have chosen to set my name there. Yes. Pray to the Lord, in this land, we will start to record the presence and the evidence of God's presence in the name of Jesus. Tell it to the Holy God, tell it to God, that this land, this city, this city shall be known for the, for the presence of God. This city shall be known for revival. This city shall be known for the power of God. This city shall be known for the manifestation of the presence of God. In the life of believers, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus Christ's name we are free. In Jesus Christ's name we are free. The Lord is saying that every immorality in this land shall be things of the past. In the name of Jesus. Just tell it to God in appreciation. Tell it to God. That means the righteousness of God. The righteousness of God shall begin to appear. The righteousness of God, the holiness of God, we begin to show forth in our lives. That means that people will start to part after righteousness. They will start to operate in the righteousness of God. They will start to operate in the instructions of God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Because you've interceded for this city this day, I decree and declare the Lord Himself will restore your strength. In the name of Jesus. The power of God, Hallelujah. as you walk in this land, henceforth, I decree the power of God will open doors to you. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. As you are praying for the city in a season like this, mm. I decree before you open doors in this land, doors shall be opened unto you. Yeah. Jesus. Uh -uh. Before they consider other people's application, I decree and declare before you turn in the application, they will sort after you. In the name of Jesus. Because you love this land, because you love this city, I decree. The Lord will set the devil before you in the presence of your enemies in the name of Jesus. The Lord will count you worthy among kings and princes in the name 
of Jesus. Anointing that changes protocol. Anointing that show forth God's favor. I decree over you. Such anointing rest upon you. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is saying there is somebody here. Before you speak, they will hear you. In the name of Jesus. I've been trying to convince you. I've been trying to, 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 to put words together. The Lord is saying somebody is here. Before you say a word, they will understand. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is saying there is somebody here, you will no longer be considered an outcast. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I appreciate Amen. it. Lord. Just thank you, thank you for his goodness. Thank you for his mercy. Thank you for his loving kindness. Thank you for his loving kindness. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus Christ's name, I have prayed. Amen. In Jesus Christ's name, I have prayed. Amen. I want you to know if you're a member of this church, we have a mandate in this city. And the mandate of God for us is that we will rise and build. Yes. We will rise and build. Yes. Just like Nehemiah received the word, the bad news. I pray for you, even as we tarry in these seven days, prayer and fasting. You will be conscious of God's vision for you in this life. Amen. You will be conscious of God's instruction for you in this life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. This land is for you and for your children. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Just as you pray for this land this day, I pray for you. Amen. You will not lack any good thing. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So be conscious. Be conscious, be conscious. There will be an outpour of God's revelation. Mm -hmm. In the year 2022, there will be an outpour of God's revelation. Amen. There will be an outpour of God's vision. In this land, like we prayed, there will be an advancement mm -hmm. that will spring forth from this city. Amen. And the world will not be able to comprehend Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And also, we must be careful. We must be careful of the devices of the enemies in the, in the year to come. And that is why as a church, we've received such revelation for a time like this to pray for our city. And I pray for you and your family. The Lord will keep you safe. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord will keep you strong. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, everlasting God. Thank you, everlasting God. Hallelujah. Glory be to your holy name. Amen. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Amen. Let us share the grace together in fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. I decree as you go, the peace of the Lord will go with you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray that his covenant of protection shall rest upon you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever you lay your hands upon this week, I decree shall prosper. Amen. In the name of Jesus. When you open your mouth, it shall be seasoned with grace. In the name of Jesus. Whenever your feet shall go, shall be for your possession. In the name of Jesus. When people behold you, they will behold the glory of God. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus Christ's name, I have prayed. Thank you. God bless you. We appreciate you for coming. Tomorrow is another day. Please don't miss it. Don't miss it. Don't miss seven days fasting and prayer. And I pray that God himself will reward you abundantly in Jesus' name. Amen.